Taking Chance came to me at a time when uh, it was exactly what I wasn't really looking for. Uh, I was feeling like I had been doing a couple of really intense kind of uh, parts back to back and I was just had this instinct to, to lighten things up but I was so taken with the script and so taken with the story that it was a movie that was really difficult for me to say no to. The way I, I came to be Chance's escort was I saw, I, I was in the habit of every day reviewing the DOD press releases on the casualties and I noticed that he was from my hometown and I, I thought it would be appropriate that I take him. Every escort that we send out we give them a, a form to fill out that's an after action report to say how can we do this better. Now this is supposed to be more um, mundane things like you know bring a, be sure to bring a road map or bring a charger for your cell phone but as the week progressed I saw how people were reacting to Chance's sacrifice. It got real emotional for him, so he just, you know, it's like any of us, if you, something's really bothering you or something you're having a hard time dealing with, you just start writing things down. And that's how that evolved. Lieutenant Colonel Strobel went to the, you know, to the nth degree and he actually wrote a story that, uh, you know, talked about the pride and talked about the entire mission, answering the questions, why are you here in your dress uniform? Well, I'm, I'm taking a fallen service member home. It's a story that gets, you know, pushed around our entire community uh, at the mortuary and, uh, you know, over even over in the theater. I'm biased because it's my brother, but I mean, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever read because it's very personal to, to me and my family. So whether other people took it that way, I don't know, but obviously, you know, it's touched a lot of people. That thing ended up going around the internet several times around the world and all kinds of people read it. That's how Brad Cravoy came across it. A friend of mine's son uh, was killed in Iraq, and when I attended the funeral, his family handed me an article, and this article was Taking Chance. He read the story. He thought it would make a, a, a good screenplay. He got in touch with the Phelps family, and they put Brad in touch with me, and, and off we went. And then Ross came on board, and I, I think also just dramatically improved it. I think that the film is pulling back the curtain, you know? And uh, this is something we don't see, and uh, I'm really thrilled that I get to, to show it. It's, a, it's, it's so somber and so difficult, but yet it's so important for us to know that this journey takes place. Even in the shooting of it, I see people who are constantly affected by it. Uh, a woman who was a baggage handler, as the shipping container came off and she saw for the first time me saluting it, she came up to me and said that she started to cry. And she knows it's a movie and it's, you know, there's nothing in there, but there's something about that image that's incredibly powerful and it's, just, it's an image that we don't see really all that often. This journey has taken place over 3,500 times in the course of this war. And so for us all to experience it together in the form of making a film was, was, was very powerful. The challenges are, there were a lot of, you know, you read the story and you think it's a very quiet story and should be a very simple movie sort of to make. And, and the reality of it is there are challenges, meaning airports, airplanes, and we needed elements in this movie that are particular to this story, military and uniforms and how these guys walk and talk. The walk, how they carry, the lift, uh, everything, because everything's very, uh, I don't want to say choreographed, but everything is... Uh, set and there's a specific way that we do things. It is a very, very specific um, ritual and it is something that is done in a uh, 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 just a, a, an incredibly precise kind of way. It has to do with dignity and, and honor and respect. It's important that they, that they did it with dignity and honor and respect and they did that. The most significant challenge for me is to make sure this family approves of this, uh, of the final product. And I, I I hope they do. As emotional a process as this has been for me, uh, I do get, I have the luxury to walk away, um, and, and they don't. We said it would be good for America to know this story, and because it is not anti-war or pro-war. Regardless of where you stand politically, Everyone supported our fallen troops. The Phelps family is very special, and they come from a long line of military service. And so it was so important to us to make sure that they were comfortable 
with everything that we did on this project. They have promised us that they would stick to the integrity of Michael Strobel's story, and, and I believe they're doing that.